Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be fitness, warm up for tennis. This is a warm up that you should do every time, whether you're taking a lesson or you're playing a match. It's a five minute routine and we're gonna go straight into it. All right. Start off with jump rope. Then notice I started off with my sweater on purpose. Anytime you're on the court and you had to put on a sweater that day, if it was that cold, you should start your warm up with the sweater and your jumper on. If you look at Serena Williams, she does that quite often. Now, after you jump rope for two minutes, you're going to uh, push your legs over. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then do this one. One, two, 20 seconds, hold. Don't use your right arm to stretch the left leg because you'll mess up your alignment and you can something and then after you do that one and then you do this one you go across put your arm out 20 seconds and then do this one 20 seconds and do this one 20 seconds and you do this one hold your arm out for tennis players this is good to feel that stretch 20 seconds and then do the other one And that's about your warm up. You see how quick that was? You do not need to spend that much time. Another way to do the stretch is on the ground and keep your legs straight, cross your legs over, and then try to touch your toes. See how long you can do this, how many steps you can go, 30 seconds. All right, here we go. You have to bend at the knees and shuffle and down and up and up. This one, I would go either time or reps. This one, you can, it's interchangeable. You can change either way. tennis players, it's very important that you always work your forearms. You do not necessarily need a five pound sandbag like this. I'm doing advanced. I'm going to hold my arm out straight and I'm going to hold the weight and I'm going to let go of the weight and then catch it and let go and catch it and let go and catch it. And now you could do it versus, uh, you could do this uh, based on time or you could do counts how many reps you can do so you can uh, you could go here one two three okay you could go either reps I did 20 or you could do it based on time the other arm same thing one two three four notice I'm not catching the I'm not throwing the ball up my arm my palm is completely facing down and I'm going, let go, and then catch it. Let go, and catch it. Let go, and you're not doing that. You're definitely not doing that. That's a different exercise. Keep your arms straight, and catch it. By the time you finish with this arm, you can come back to this one, because you've already had enough rest, and then do another 20. Make sure your arm stays straight the entire time. Don't bend your arm. 
keep it shoulder high the entire time and squeeze in your abs a little bit like hold it tight and then do that let go and then catch it say I keep your arms straight let go and catch it this is beginner level whatever weight you have hold your arm out straight like that and put your weight on now this one obviously it's not repetition uh, it's not reps we're not going for repetitions on this one we are going to see how long we can hold a five pound ball in the middle of the racket and hold it squeeze it and then uh, uh, relax so I'll do maybe uh, 10 seconds 15 uh, 20 seconds and then do it this way now this one is hard so I would start off with this one say with a lighter weight again remember if it hurts you need to stop and get a smaller weight okay so I'll do this one again remember we're trying to work on emphasize on the grip we're working on the grip strength so make sure you got the correct grip your fingers spread out and everything and almost like you're about to hit a back and volley with that same grip and then you just steady it like that and then hold that for 20 seconds 25 seconds 30 seconds up to you just make sure you write it down so you can check to see if you're improving and then now do this one same thing if you use a two-handed back end, same thing again so start off with this one 20 seconds do it this way 20 seconds now just to give you an idea whatever weight you have my left arm is a little bit weaker than my right arm so you can use different weights for different uh, for both arms so with my left arm I can use a lighter weight for my right arm I can use a heavier weight but if you holding your arm out straight with the correct grip shoulder level if you cannot support it for more than three set uh, for more than five seconds get a lighter weight because the idea is to kind of hold it for about 20 seconds so if you can not hold it for 20 seconds just start off with a lighter weight that's forearm workout right there that's forearm workout that's what I'm talking about beginner start off with a very low step and then go to a slightly higher one this one will be advanced knee high will be advanced for now okay now you definitely want to hold the balance so when you go up you gotta hold it and then come down and then hold it now and down you do not want to do this that's not it and you want to hold that balance and when you land you got to be very very soft on your landing can add a little bit of a challenge now you can hold the ball Jump rope, two minutes. Stretch, three minutes. Do one exercise, it's a 20 second exercise. Take a 20 second break and do three sets of that. You'll be done with the exercise in three minutes. And that's one exercise, you do another exercise of three minutes. So between your stretching and exercise and everything else, everything took 10 minutes. You, If you're going to be better at tennis, you will need to, to be consistent. Consistency versus 
intensity. Consistency wins all the time. Somebody who goes in the gym 20 minutes every single day will be in much better shape than somebody who goes once a month, once a month for nine hours at a time. Consistency always beats intensity. All right, uh, don't forget to drink your water. I am doing this on purpose where I'm not putting in a lot of exercises because I don't want to overwhelm anybody. All right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, stay safe out there.